Managing your privacy on iOS is pretty easy, but I'm going to take you through a number of the screens in the settings page for your iOS device, and all of these will have a good tip or a trick to managing your privacy. Now, one of the first things is within the Siri and search section. Now, you can see up at the top where it says, listen for that means that all the time Apple's voice assistant is listening through your phone, through the microphone on your phone for those wake words. Now, that does not mean that they're using any of the other audio, but it is an opportunity for mistakes to occur and then recordings to have happened. Now, the very next section we're going to talk about is Touch ID and Passcode. Now, the Touch ID is the same as Face Unlock on the other iOS devices that have that capability really what you're giving access to is a component of yourself so your fingerprint is something that is generally unique and you are giving away a bit of your personal privacy when you include it now I find this very useful so I do use it myself but you can actually turn this off or remove a fingerprint if you'd like through this screen your web browsing on a Safari browser is one of the biggest privacy risks that you have and there's a number of things that can actually affect your privacy here. Down at the bottom where it actually says privacy and security within the Safari application, you can see that I've turned on block all cookies. Now this might stop certain websites from working so you may need to turn this on in some cases, but then you can clear your history and your website data after that now the fraudulent website warnings you're definitely going to want that on and preventing cross-site tracking is something that is very important because it stops cookies and those different trackers that you end up with on your device from tracking your usage and your whereabouts throughout the internet one thing that you could do is to install a VPN on any iOS device. So you can see here in the general settings, there is an opportunity to put a VPN on your device and that is allowing you to basically redirect traffic instead of it looking like it's directly from your phone it is coming from a different IP address. So if people are trying to data mine what you are doing, then what they are going to find is a different IP address. So that's something that does generally help. Now the biggest page for you and the most important thing to watch here is the privacy tab. You will see I'm going to go into location services because every app in here is using your location at different times. So you can see there's a number of different options per application. I've brought up Amazon's voice assistant and you can see that it has never ask next time while using the app and always and you will find that some devices want to use your location all the time and they may or may not need it so you need to make a conscious decision as to whether these applications need your location all the time the same really holds true when we think about our photos bluetooth connectivity and especially the microphone and camera and i have in many cases actually talked about examples of where I have found my microphone listening through an application to the conversation I'm having. And on my main channel, Automate Your Life, I have actually talked about a certain situation where my microphone and a specific application was actually listening to a conversation I had. And then I had a lot of phone calls from telemarketers about that very topic. So when we talk about photos, another thing that is definitely not necessary is the ability to read and write now sometimes they want the ability to read from your photos in order to allow you to post online but if that is not something you need all the time you can actually turn that off and finally the camera is one of the biggest issues I think and when you are in these applications that camera could be turned on and there was actually some mistakes that were made by Facebook within one of their many applications just a while ago they admitted to this and said they had corrected the error and it was actually opening the camera in the background now that could occur or it could be something that is worse it could be somebody doing it on 
on purpose with an application. So definitely look at turning your camera off wherever possible. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this. There's an Android version of this, which is a little bit different. You'd be surprised. There are some different controls on Android. Otherwise, you can learn about the biggest privacy risk in your life on screen right now.